23 days after the helicopter crash that claimed six lives, a local insurance company moved to pay compensation to the families of two members of parliament who died in the crash. Can India Insurance presented to the Speaker of the National Assembly a check of over 21 million shillings as personal accident cover compensation for the families of the late Internal Security Minister, Professor George Saitoti and Orua Ojode. Uh, the total sum being paid to Parliament today is uh, 21 million shillings, 244,000, and this money will be paid out uh, to the uh, two uh, families uh, in equal proportion. Another week brings another compensation check, and this in turn bringing about complications as to just how the money will be shared. After Jubilee released the first check to House Speaker Kenneth Marende, Ojode's brother wrote to the Speaker seeking to stop payment of any compensation to Ojode's widow. Yesterday, both I and the clerk of the National Assembly received a letter from the uh, brother of the late uh, Honorable Roa Ojode asking us not to effect any payment uh, to any person until the families have cleared among themselves on who is entitled uh, to the payment. While the speaker maintains that no decision has been made just yet as to who is entitled to the funds, he admits that the letter may have a bearing in the matter. That letter may very well have an effect, but we will uh, see to it that we effect payments in accordance with the law. Questions abound as to what this may portend in the face of other benefits that have accrued, including funds the MP may have saved in the SACO, pension and any salary arrears. Ideally, the National Assembly as a client would receive compensation from the insurance companies and remit the funds to the beneficiaries. Parliament has the power to withhold the money if a legal claim is registered. But when asked who was listed as the beneficiary in Ojode's case... The person recorded as the beneficiary in the insurance company, I think only the insurance company will know. Those are normally details that uh, the speaker will not be privy to. Kenyans will no doubt be watching this new development with the same interest shown after the plane crash and the subsequent burials. Reporting for KTN, I'm Wilkinson Yabua.